All right, just got here at uh, body spec for my uh, deck scan. I should turn off this first. Kind of early though. Uh, my appointment is supposed to be at um, 2:36. Uh, is what time is it? 1:37 right now. So uh, technically, I'm an hour early. I mean, you should just get there. Uh, you should just get here like early, but I'm think I'm way too early. Um, it's been so I had to wait for about an hour. I'll probably come in around like in the next 30 minutes. Just you can chill here a little bit. Um, so I should give a quick overview what deck scan is. Um, deck scan is very much just, um, the reason why I'm doing this today is because I want to see how my body weight, very much like my what's my body fat, my muscle density, stuff like that. Because I've been gaining weight uh, since past few years, and I want to see where I am now. Bef and I want to for this year, I really want to commit to get in better shape. So it's kind of like before and after. So right now, I want to make sure that hey, this is my current state right now. What, um, what I'm gonna do to make myself better, and then hopefully by the end of the year, I get another scan, and I will see the difference and how do my clean diet. Um, no sugar, no processed sugar, um, hitting the gym and working out regularly and walking daily do for my body. So also like getting better sleep also. So I want to see the improvement in my body shape. Because I think overall most people will do it before and after by just showing their pictures. Like here, here's my before and here my after. But yes, physically you can see the difference. But Internally, I want to see what's internally, what's the different that my body uh, changes. So hopefully, beside the body fat will it decrease. I also want to see like is there anything increase like you know, what, what my muscle density like is that increase because I will lift weight or do I like, work out stuff like that you know. So the cool thing about this is um, so I bought the two uh, scan package for eighty five dollars. So, if you do one scan, it's forty-five bucks, which is pretty cheap. Now, I think other places like hundred dollar. For here, body spec in Culver City, I just uh, went to a meet and greet at uh, Westwood with Joe and uh, Anne from JK uh, Films. So that's why I decided to schedule my appointment after the meet and greet. So it's just convenient, you know. It's very sunny right now. And there's a lot of parking here, honestly. So uh, I'm thinking you need to be worried about parking situation, especially in LA. Anyway, let's go in. I want to document myself, so just in case I forget what we talk okay, about. Yeah, yeah. So up at the top is your main information okay. there. So that's your total body fat percentage. That's your mm -hmm. total weight there in blue, fat tissue there in red, lean tissue in green, bone marrow content. Okay. Bone marrow content is essentially like how much all the bones weigh mm -hmm. in pounds. Um, lean tissue is going to be muscles, ligaments, organs, and fluids. Essentially, if it isn't fat tissue or it isn't bone, it's considered lean tissue. Oh, okay. okay. You add those three things together, that's how the software figures out and gets your total weight there. You see in blue, your fat tissue divided by total weight gives you that total body fat percentage. Okay. okay? Um, I'm really high. <laughs> because I, um, I did the at home one that I um, was on, it's like. Oh, it's not. It was not an accurate. I think yeah, I was yeah. like thirty-two or thirty-three, something like that. Yeah, the I was like forty percent. That's not a lot. Yeah. So the DEXAs usually read a higher body fat yeah. percentage reading because it's all encompassing your whole body. Oh, okay. Versus those like handheld things, it's just figuring out how long it takes for the current to get from one side of your body to the yeah. other, and a lot of different things can affect it. So mm -hmm. it's 
you shouldn't really compare like them with each other because it's like comparing apples to oranges. Oh, okay. The way they get it is different. It's not saying that's not rice. Um, not giving you like the full picture, uh -huh. you know, whereas this is giving you everything the scanner is going across your whole body, uh -huh. you know So this top information is also going to be shown for you in five different regions at the bottom here We look at your arms your legs your trunk android and gynoid So you get to see how everything is proportioned within your body and where you might have a little bit more fat tissue or a little bit more lean tissue uh -huh. Okay, so um, Let me show you this is you on the scanner bed, so green's gonna be lean tissue, red's fat tissue. Mm -hmm. So another visual way to see how everything is being stored within our body. Um, so your arms and your legs are pretty easy to identify. Yeah. Your trunk is essentially the area of your body that's excluding those extremities and your head. Oh, okay. So from the bottom of your skull, all the way down to the bottom of the pelvis. So this middle rectangular triangular portion is your trunk. Oh, okay. okay? Um, Android is your lower abdominal region. So from the bottom of the rib cage here to the tops of the hips is your android. Okay. Um, gynoid is your hips, glutes, and upper thighs. So from the tops of your femurs or thigh bones all the way down to the bottom of the pelvis or the bottom of that triangle there. Okay. okay. Over here to the right is an optional body fat percentile chart if you want to use it. You can see how you rank to other men in your age group or um, just for like goal setting, see where you want to be. This is based off of everyone who scanned with body spec though, so this percentile chart is more skewed towards a leaner, oh, okay. more athletic population than general population. Okay. okay. So yeah, so I guess I'm all the way over here, over here then. You'd be cons yeah, based off your age yeah. group. Yeah. Um, but again, mm -hmm. when you've never done a body comp test like this before, it can be a little bit alarming to kind of see that, but um, at least it gives you a good idea of where to start oh. from, right? And so going to the second page now, you get a little bit more in depth with your Android and your gynoid. So that's your Android body fat percentage, that's your gynoid body fat percentage, your A to G ratio, is just these two being divided by each other, giving you that ratio you see there of 1.27, okay? Um, ideally, you want to try to get this ratio to be less than 1 because you want to have less body fat in your Android section than you do in the gynoid, okay? okay? Um, the reason why we don't want to have a lot of that is because in that, if we have more fat around the midsection, that Android section, it just is more correlated with more health conditions. Um, like for example, like the visceral adipose tissue, it's a particular type of fat that's within this android section But it's right underneath that abdominal wall. So mm -hmm. um, as you can see visceral fats in one versus subcutaneous is in two So if we have more fat around the organs, they don't work as efficiently mm -hmm. So it can lead to these cascading health problems and um, it's associated with the development of the metabolic disease like mm -hmm. type 2 diabetes So your visceral fat in pounds is that right there okay. What's considered the healthy range for men is less than one pound and as close to zero as possible. Oh, nice. Okay, and so ways to uh, limit this and decrease the space for fat is essentially just minimizing our saturated fats, our processed foods, added sugars, alcohol. Essentially, eating a cleaner diet uh -huh. is going to make a major change here, but also lifestyle. So, managing your stress levels well, sleeping enough, like incorporating more physical activity throughout the day, is also going to be beneficial in bringing that low. Okay. okay. Right above here is an estimate of your RMR or estimated bulk rate. This right here is just to say, like, if at rest, like you were doing nothing at all, just laying down breathing, your body's consuming this amount of calories, and that's how much you need to intake to stay alive in that okay. state. But again, that's just rest. In mm -hmm. order for you to get a big picture, like with your total caloric expenditure, you have to add in your active calories with that number. Okay. okay? Um, over here now, we have your bone report. So this right here is an overall bone density scan from head to toe. We're not a medical facility, so it's not mm -hmm. diagnostic, mm -hmm. but at least gives you a good idea of how generally strong your bones are. This one now is based off of a national database. So what we do is compare your overall bone mineral density in grams per centimeter squared, which is that right here, um, to other men of your same age ethnicity, we use the age match to z-score. So it's 0.4 z-score, plugged into here, puts you right within that 50 to 69th percentile. So right above average for bone density, okay. meaning your bones are stronger than 50 to 69% of the men in your population, mm -hmm. okay? So ways to maintain this is just making sure you have enough vitamin D, enough calcium, and you're um, doing some sort of load-bearing exercise and resistance training is gonna be beneficial, okay? And lastly, what you get is also your muscle balance report. This right here is just to see how symmetrical your right side is versus your left side, and to see if there are any like major imbalances anything greater than two pounds of a difference would be considered that large imbalance okay. okay so looking specifically here at lean mass it looks like your arms have a little bit of a difference favoring your right arm by 0.6 pounds more right leg by 0.3 pounds more again that's not a 
greater than two pounds, so it's not considered uh -huh. that large in balance. Most of us will have that. Are you right side dominant? Yeah. Usually that will, that's usually what causes that. But if it's not hindering your day-to-day -day life, I don't worry about it too mm -hmm. much. Okay. Um, now over here, these last few pages are just regional fat and regional lean tissue reports. So with all those different regions we talked about, you'll have these graphs with these data points. So as you come more, these graphs will fill out. You get to see a general trend of how your body's changing and exactly how much you're gaining or losing specifically in these areas for fat tissue. And the same goes for lean tissue. Oh. Okay. But again, these don't come into play till later. Any questions? Nope. All right. Well, that's Sounds it. Good. Um, if any questions come up to you, feel free to email us or give mm -hmm. us a call. And uh, let's say I'm right now, like for this year, I'm probably gonna commit myself and like, work out something like that. Mm -hmm. Do you recommend do it every, um, the scan every three months or six months to get a good? We usually recommend like try to do it sooner, like usually two to three months. Mm -hmm. That way you're able to kind of track over time. Um, and then if it's not going the right direction, it allows you to kind of course correct and change something about your diet, exercise, or both. Okay. If you wait six months, it might be hard to tell exactly what was causing those changes, you know? Okay. Um, so usually every two to three months up until you get to the point where you hit your goals and you're exactly where you want to be and you hit that maintenance phase, then maybe you only come in, need to come in like twice a year or once a year at that okay. point. Okay. All right. Cool. Anything else? No. That's it. All right. Just done with my scan. Fuck. I didn't expect my fat to be that much. Almost forty percent. That's a little fucking a lot, man. Forty percent. But it's thirty nine something. But still, I'm almost forty percent fat. That's a lot of fat. <sighs> and I really need to be on top of it and really work out then because that's a lot of fat and. I wish I'm not healthy. All right. I hope you learned something from my experience. Definitely gonna um, work on myself, improve uh, my health, and I probably come back here in, like, in two or three months, just like he say. And hopefully, my body will be better. <laughs> honestly, because forty percent body fat. Oh man, I'm scared. My face look happy, but I'm not happy. I think I'm happy that I know what I'm gonna work with right now, but I know my body's shape. So I know I need help, I need to work on myself. And then from here, in the next two or three months, I will come back and hopefully everything will decrease and I will look, I'll feel better. That's just like. I didn't expect to be that high. And I, I measure myself. I just assume that's gonna be like maybe low thirty percent body fat, but almost forty percent body fat is super high, man. Hope you learned something from this uh, video. Uh, take care of yourself, honestly. Take care of yourself. Stay strong out there. If you have a health issue like me, stay strong. Take care of yourself. Try eat clean as much as possible. Avoid sugar. I know it's hard. I've been avoiding sh like added and processed sugar and it's so difficult. And I understand the craving and the late night hunger. I've been there. So it's a tough time. So I would have to tell myself, hey, it's take me years to for me to get to this point. So it's gonna take me some time to get better, to get that healthy. So be patient, love yourself. And I hope the best with your diet and physical journey. And stay strong. Love yourself. Bye.